It's time for yet another Genshin Impact Hunger Games Celestial Games Arc on War Simulator. It's basically just Celestial Games at this point. Not really Arc on War, but it's themed around the Arc on War. The images you will see are going to be slightly different this time. Some of them are funnier and some of them are GIFs. So, Team 1, Ether, Paimon, Lumine, Dainsleaf. Team 2 is Dilute, Kaya, Albedo, and Klee. Team 3 is Eula, Amber, Mona, and Fischl von Luftschloss. Nah. Official. Team 4 is Bennett, Zhengling, Sing Shou, and Chong Yun. Team 5 is Hu Tao, Zhongli, Zhao, and Ganyu. Poor Zhao, dude. Team 6 is Beidou, Kaidahara, Kazuha, Venti, and Shenha. Team number 7 is Arataki Ito, Kuki Shidobu, Yalan, and Yan Fei. Team number 8, Raiden, Yaimiko, Kujo Sara, and Shikido and Hazel. Team 9, Hamisato Ayaka with a insane forehead. Toba, Sad gonna be a Kokomi, and Goro is Miss Hina. Team 10, Alhaitham, Kave, Nahida, Wanderer. 11 is Saido, Tignori, Candice, and Dea. And 12 is Ildatore, Alakino, Signora, and Tartaglia. Are you ready? Just for some fucking insanity, dude, because these always just end up so unhinged and insane. Who's gonna be the first to die, I wonder? Faced with heavenly principles, Celestia decides to play a game to see who will win the next seat among them. All teams are summoned and forced to wait in a summoning ring for the heavenly principles to signal the start of the war. Amber helps Klee and Ganyu get to safety. Ayaka rushes to the center of the ring to collect as many Primo gems as possible. Again? Didn't she do this last time and then Lumine ended up absolutely demolishing her for 50 Primos? Shenha tries to challenge the Heavenly Principles, but Singsho steps in and stops her. I think Shenha could take him, dude. In a fight. In, in, a, in, a, in a fight, I think she could. Saido uses his powers to steal Primo gems from Hot Guy, based. Zhang Ling immediately tries to overwhelm Ito with her powers. After a fierce fight to the death, Ito is slain. Wait, what? Already? They couldn't leave in a beetle battle or something instead? I'm pissed. Mona panics and is unable to collect any supplies. Yai glares at the Heavenly Principles before leaving. That's suspicious. Tignari immediately tries to overwhelm Eula with his powers, but after a fierce fight to the death, Tignari is slain. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, what do you think you're fucking doing, dude? Of course you're gonna get slain by Eula. Child rushes to the center of the ring to collect as many primos as possible. Candace finds a four-star weapon. Kuki runs away from the summoning ring, and A panics and is unable to collect supplies. Dea runs away. Ether picks up a dull blade. Yo, it's cannon. Nahida runs away. Goro panics and can't collect supplies. Venti runs away. Signora struggles to get supplies. Dane offers to share some of his rations with her. Suspicious. Chong Yun runs away from the summoning ring. Kazuma uses his powers to steal Primo Gems from Daluk. He let you have him. Jar runs away. Dory bets money on Hazel winning. That's sus. He won the last one. That's actually sus as shit. Kaya picks a direction and starts walking. Sora struggles to get any supplies. Bennett offers to share rations. Paimon, Fischl, Datori, and Beidou fight over character ascension materials. Toby uses his powers to steal primos from Yalan. Interesting. Alhaitha waves to the camera. Okay, so he's aware. Albedo runs away and Kokobi struggles to get supplies. Jung Lee shares rations. Hu Tao also glares at the heavenly principles before leaving. Lumine unleashes her elemental burst immediately killing all I... <laughs> We're the real fucking bad guys. The travel is the unhinged ones. Kave picks up a dull blade. Yanfei glitches to Celestia and is perma banned from life by the heavenly prince. Oh, fucking hell. She just didn't do it a little trolling, dude, but they smited her down and killed her. That wasn't even day one. That was before anything even happened, dude. Fischl moves to kill Hazel, but Zhang Ling parries her attack, allowing Hazel time to escape. Fischl is then slain by Zhang Ling? Based, honestly. Fuck you, Fischl. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Nahida beats Dave at a time trial challenge and wins five Primo gems. Hutao and Toba fight over Primo gems. After a long fight, they decide to split them. Lumine, Deluc, and Amber work together to farm Spectres. Good idea. They're annoying to farm. Ethan gives an interview to Charlotte while Goro and Klee fight in the background. Please don't kill Klee, Goro. I'll have to hate you after that, and I don't want to do that. A, Shenha, Yai, and Saido have a beach episode in Monster. Hey, that's a fucking bagger of a beach episode. Jesus Christ. Other than Sino. Kuki, Signora, and Bennett decide to explore the Mare Javari together. What the fuck? Kaya raids an innocent Hillichol camp for two primos. That's like, that's, that's, Friendly fire, dude. Friendly fire. A bunch of animals keep following Kazu around like he's a fairy tale princess. Well, that's just because he is. He is a fairy tale princess. Dottori becomes tainted with forbidden knowledge and slowly goes insane before one day disappearing from everyone's memories entirely. Ayaka spends all day annoying Mona. Based. I'll hide them finds a TCG card of Bossy Beto or whatever his name is. <laughs> 
Sarah has tea with Albedo. Eula, Venti, and Kave form an alliance and work together for the day. That's a scary team, dude. Beto, Candace, and Hat Guy collect Sonsedias together, and Ganyu collects materials to forge a weapon. Child has tea with Zhao. Yelan is trying to be nice, but Kokobi is really tested her patience. Chongyun tests his powers on Timmy's birds. Zhongli, Xingxiao, and Dea travel together, but get lost and walk around in circles all day. I feel like that's pretty canon. Paimon finds a another TCG card of Barzi Beto. Okay, never mind. It wasn't limited edition, so it's probably not worth that much. There's two of them now. Six people die dead on the first day. Ito, Tigdari, Alakido, Yanfei, Fischl, and Datori. My goodness, that is uh, that is something, dude. That is something. Celestial Games, night number one. Candice tries to overwhelm and kill Paimon. Dane joins in and Paimon is slayed. <laughs> Dane wants to be the only traveling companion. Holy shit. Ganyu shares a heartfelt moment with Mona, but it's ruined by Albedo. I feel like Albedo's learned from Sino at this point and just goes in and tells bad jokes. Signora reads a light novel before going to sleep. Bennett reads a guide to resistance before going to sleep. Hazel cooks his special dish for Kokomi and Toma. Yai shares a heartfelt moment with Sing Shou, but it's ruined by Chong Yoon. That actually sounds a bit canon. Ether skips Hot Guy's dialogue and goes to sleep while he's still talking. Kuki, A, Lumin, and Zhang Ling stay up late playing Genius Invocation TCG. Kuki won. Hey, she learned from the best. Always beating Ito, dude. Goro stays up late teaching Kazuha how to min max artifacts. Kazuha fell asleep five minutes in. Uh oh. Ayaka carries an injured Eula back to her camp. Sido quietly hums his own theme to himself. It is a banger of a theme. Kave, Zhao, and Dilute work together to steal supplies from Venti while he's sleeping. Beta and Amber cook a pot of Adeptus Daptation. Lee quietly hums her own theme to herself. Honestly, a very good theme as well. Nahid of Reeds, a guide to resistance. Zhongli, Al and Shen have set up fireworks together. Daya is kept up all night by the noise. Yelan laments over the fact that there's so much Law is event exclusive. Honestly, please, dude. Like, Polyverse, come on, listen. Listen, event exclusive stories are fine, but when you put really important lore in the event exclusive stuff, it's kind of fucking cringe. It gets kind of annoying sometimes, honestly, when you want to go back to an experience something that you can't because it was in an event that was limited, and then also in that limited event, the actual lore was also hidden away, just like in the Deluke events. What? Oh, did you miss that? Okay, hold on. So basically, Kaya and Sara keep trying to one up each other with their tragic backstory lore. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of fucked up, dude. Child falls into the abyss, but luckily manages to find a way out. It's literally canon. Hu Tao finally gets the perfect artifact in her dreams. Okay, that feels like a dig. Kabe watches Yuli get struck by lightning and laughs at the start of day numero dos, day two. Ayaka, Venti, and Child this, uh, collect Sunsetias together. Dane skips Beidou's dialogue. Sarah thinks of an ugly nickname for Lumine. Well, what is it, though? I want to know what the ugly nickname is. Albedo gets Saido's theme stuck in his head. They are like besties now. Kaya tries and fails to pet a dog. Ganyu receives a delusion from an unknown sponsor. She decides to use it to overpower Amber and kills them. Listen, I'm just keeping a butt with you, Ganyu. You didn't need to use that delusion to overpower Amber. I'm sorry. Listen, I... <laughs> That's just a fucking skill issue at that point, Ganyu. God damn. Xiangling gets scanned out of her pre rolls by Dory. Yeah, it's canon. Bennett and Zhao argue over whose theme is better. Bennett doesn't even have a theme. They ask Kuki for, for her opinion. Kuki thinks Zhao's theme is better. Does Bennett even have a theme? Bennett, you're that unlucky that you don't have one, dude. Klee uses her powers to help Goro collect supplies. Bum bum baku dan, all the fruit out of the tree. Yai dumps cold water on Daluk while he naps. That's such a Yai thing to do, dude. Singsho practices archery. Kazuha sleeps through the whole day. Based. Mona passes out from exhaustion and is carried to safety by Aranara. Ether injures himself while misusing his powers. Chongyun dumps cold water on Kokomi while she naps. I feel like that'd just help her sleep. Candace tells Alhaitham a joke, but Alhaitham doesn't get it. Toba, Signora, and Hu Tao work together to farm Spectres. Honestly, pretty base team. Daya and Hat Guy practice wind gliding together. I, I think Daya... I, I, sorry, I think Hat Guy is going to be a bit better at that for some reason. Zhongli, A, Nahida, and Yulang get trapped in Bottle Land and spend an, an all day trying to find a way out. Yo, three Archons in Yulan, dude? Holy... That's kind of big. That's a good team. That's a good ass team. That's a that's a fucking um hyper bloom team, kind of. Hazel gets scanned out of his pre by Dory. Good, he can't win this one. Shenha tries speaking to Hillichels, but ends up insulting them by mistake. I've done that a lot in the daily commissions that we have, honestly. Pylon and Amber died. The first two characters that we ever meet in Genshin have left us. Night number two. Kave tells Yelan a joke, but she doesn't get it. Kave stays up late teaching Saido how to mid max artifacts. Saido fell asleep five minutes in. Putao receives a mysterious package from Karara. It's 60 Genesis crystals. Yo, that's one resin refresh, dude. She can go for that artifact again. Kazuha and Ether keep trying to one-up each other with their tragic backstory lore. How are you gonna one-up fucking Kazu, 
dude. I fell here from another world and lost my sister and now I'm trying to find her. Oh yeah? Well, all of this happened to me. What's Ether got as a red bottle? He doesn't fucking remember shit. Not here to see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Fandango? Thunderbolts of lightning, Kujos are a frightening. She finds a dream solvent. Okay, shed her dreams being with friends and family. Chongyi quietly hums his own theme to himself. Venti reads a guide to diligence before sleeping and Senora dreams of being with friends and family. That's kind of sad. Kuki sees a little silhouette of a man and Xiao receives a mysterious package full of medical supplies. Dilute uses his powers to escape from Kokobi and Bennett. I feel like Bennett probably helped more there just with his insane unluckiness. Dea dreams of being with friends and family. Hazel is awoken by nightmares. Lee dreams of being a yeah. hero based. That's kind of funny. Candice sleeps peacefully while Zhang Ling guards her. Dane and Beidou cook a pot of Adeptus Temptation. Child skips Eula's dialogue and goes to sleep while she's still talking. Goro sacrifices himself to ensure that others can escape the chasm. I'd have let them all fucking die, dude. If that was me and Yai Miko of all people wasn't gonna help escape the fucking chasm, dude, you bet your ass I'm not. A has a nightmare about Zhongli killing her, and Ayaka reads a guide to ingenuity before going to sleep. Alhaitham fights Toba for his artifacts. Alhaitham wins but spares Toba's life. Yo, base. Toma's best boy. Hat guy receives a mysterious package. It's full of medical supplies. Albedo dreams of dreaming. Fuck is wrong with him, dude. I, I, I like. I you do you, boo, but I don't know. It's got a while. Day number three. Ayaka and Hot Guy get severely injured fighting Rift Hounds and help each other get to safety. Uh-oh. Probably ice bridging and flying. Kazuwa, Child, and Kave hunt for Liyua's local specialties. Kokobi gets injured by a forest boar and retaliates by using her burst. Good idea. Sino and Ether watch from a distance as a large group slaughters a Hillagel village for precious chests. Nobody died. Okay, Jesus Christ. A skip Shen has dialogue. Beto and Kaya spends all night trying to take a perfect picture together. The eye patch crew, dude. Yolan and Chong Yu work together to farm famed hand guards. It's gonna be a while. Zhao sleeps through the whole day. Toma, Lumin, and Dea decide to explore the Mage of Aura together. Yula and Klee fight over Primo gems and decide to split them. Yai is about to kill Zhongli, but Yai is instead stabbed through the chest by Mona and dies? Mona killed Yai? Abedo drowns trying to get a Hydroculus. <laughs> Candace and Sarah find a treasure map and spend all day headed east until they realize they've been going west the whole time. Jeez. Kuka distracts the Luke while Hu Tao steals his primos. It's harmless, it's fine. Ganya gets lost in the desert looking for scarabs, and Signora Venti and Dane collect some sedias together. Bennett skips Zhang Ling's dialogue. Only three people die in that time. Let's go check everyone's status, though. Do we have a full team taken out yet? Is the question, I think. No, there's not. Let's go to the next day. Night number three. Hu Tao huddles near a warming Celian dragon spine. Klee dreams of being chased by a flying lavender melon. Dea finds another dream solvent. Yelan is killed by a pack of consecrated beasts. <laughs> Xiao thinks Kokobi is a bozo, but lets Kokobi take shelter with him. Shenha challenges Bennett to a duel, an epic battle ensues. I can already tell how this is gonna end, dude. Ensues with an equally epic soundtrack. When the dust settles, Shenha emerges victorious. Of course. Why wouldn't she? Zhang Ling miscalculates her iframes and is slain by a Magu Kenki. Uh oh, that's not good. Venti and A get into a debate about who hates themselves more. <laughs> Hazel thinks about winning. You've already fucking won the last one, dude. Fuck off. Leave some for the rest of them. Chong Yun hears a bird call from afar while wandering around Liyue at night. It's Zhao. Senora almost drowns in ankle deep water. Luckily, Alhaitha was there to save her. Bro, you gotta stop dying in dumb ways, dude. Sara reads a guide to ingenuity before going to sleep, and Ayaka, Lumine, Mona, and Child work together to challenge the abyss. This is such a terrible team. Ganyu laments over the fact that so much lore is, an exclusive, is event exclusive. Sido and Beidou keep trying to one-up each other with the tragic backstory lore. Eula reads a guide to elegance. Deluke is trying to be nice, but Candice is really testing his patience. I think they're very similar personality-wise, honestly. Kave reflects on the fact that he will never get Wolf's Gravestone before going to sleep. <laughs> This is a fucking personal attack. Kaya tells a joke that makes Zhongli die of cringe. Wait, Zhongli died from Kaya's bull joke, dude. Ethan and Nahida sing show and Dane work together to challenge the abyss. Now this team would be lit. Kuki fights Toba for his artifacts. Kuki loses and is killed by Toba. Oh! Base though, base. I mean, hey, you defended yourself against your artifacts. That's fine. Kazuma tends to hot guy's wounds. Oh, get a room. Day four. Yula and Venti nearly kill each other over primo gems. Luckily, Kave shows up to break up the fight. Dane falls into the abyss and dies. 
I'm so over it. I'm so fucking over it. Toma has tea with Kaya. Ayaka has tea with Shenha. Kazuma tries and fails to steal fruit from Ether, but Ether decides to share his rations anyway. Yeah, Canadian Ether and Ether sharing rations, it makes sense. Beto buys pond water from Dory thinking it's holy water, of course. Diluc collects materials to forge a weapon. Wolf's gravestone. Sing Show, Saito, and Ko can be fight geometry together. What? I'll hide them Zhao and Hu Tao get injured by a pack of Rift Hounds. Mona gets scammed out of her primos by Dory and Senora sleeps through the whole day. Candace gets 60 Genesis crystals and Sara receives 980 Genesis crystals. Karara has favorites, clearly. Lumine almost drowns in ankle deep water, but Nahida was there to save her. Ganyu and Hot Guy have a competition over who can collect more Hillage Hill masks. I'm gonna say Hot Guy because he can fly and get there faster. Daya and Child spend all day trying to take a perfect picture together. Hazel, A, and Chong Yoon get injured fighting a J Plume terrace room. Lee wreaks havoc on a small Hillage Hill camp. <laughs> It's fucking canon. Six people died. Yelan, Bennett, Zhang Ling, Zhong Li, Kuki, and Dane. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, no. Only the twins are left in Team 1. It's not even the traveling companions anymore. Oh, Team 7 is gone. We have a few more rounds to go, dude. F in the chat for Team 7. Goddamn. Night number four. Everyone agrees not to kill each other and to sleep peacefully for one night. However, come morning, Hazo is dead and no one knows who did it. Yes! He's all caught win two in a row. I just didn't want him to win, chat. I'm not happy that he's dead. I just didn't want him to win again. Beto, Eula, Child, and Lumine stay up late playing Genius Invocation TCG and Lumine won. Chong Yun kills Hot Guy for his primo gems. Yo, the animal boys are dying today, dude. Kaya and Sing Show hold hands. Interesting. Zhao and Shen has steal primos from Tobo while he's sleeping. Fast. I thought that said Sino drowns Klee, dude. Sino drowns trying to get away from Klee. I love Sino, but as long as he didn't drown Klee, I'm okay with that. Sinjora laments over the fact that so much lore is an event exclusive. Hutao receives a mysterious package. It's 980 Genesis. Ganyu cooks a specialty dish for Daluk and Kokomi. Ayaka and Alhaitham cook a net of temptation. A dies trying to use her wind glider a millisecond before hitting the ground. I did that literally today with Yolan, dude. Candace reads a guide to freedom before sleeping. Sleeping and Dea and Nahida use spirit body all to relax before passing out. Are they getting high? Hey Dea, are you letting the child get high? Mona thinks of her friends and cries herself to sleep. That's sad. She's 500 years old. She's a child. She's a 500 year old child. Day number five. Kave, Hu Tao, and Lumine fight geometry together. Dea, as per Shneshnayan customs, kills Sara for breaking a pinky promise. What the fuck is Shneshnaya gonna do with it? Daluk, Ether, and Zhao hunt for Sumeru local specialties. Senora and Ahaitha and Kokomi hunt for Liyua specialties. Child and Chong Yun fight each other over an artifact. Child wins but spares Chong Yun's life. Kaya helps Moda get through the day. Moda's really struggling, dude. She cried herself to sleep last night and now she needs help getting through the day from Kaya. Dude, she's struggling. Toma and Ganyu work together to farm famed hand guards. Venti spends all day annoying Kazi. Klee and Sing Zhou get severely injured fighting Rift Hounds and help each other get to safety. Jesus, that was close. Nahida kills Candace for spoiling. Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, don't be a spoiling little bitch. Goodbye to Hazel, Hot Guy, Sino, A, Sara, and Candace. Team 7 is still fully out of it. Team 6 is fully in. Team 7 and 8 are out of it. Which team? will win. Night number five. Alhaitha reads a guide to ingenuity before sleeping. Deluca wakes to a knife at his throat and is assassinated by Signora before he can call out. Signora, go fuck off. Go get fucking torn to Sunders again. Ayaka finally gets the perfect artifact in her dreams. Beta and Ether agree to swap artifacts. Ganyu shares a backstory with Toba, but Toba couldn't find who asked. <laughs> Mona thinks of her friends and cries herself to sleep. Again? Mona, get a grip. Pull yourself together, for fuck's sake. You need to survive here. Become a ruthless killer. You're already the killer of 50-50s. Be the killer of everybody else and win. Day offends Hu Tao and Chong Yun away from her primo gems. Zhao gets injured after being struck by lightning. These guys play TCG and child wins. Lumine fights Eula for her artifacts. Lumine wins and kills Eula. She got that MC armor, dude. Klee fights Kave for his artifacts. Klee wins, but spares Kave's life base because I love both of them. Holy shit. Kaya severely injures Sing Show in a fight over 20 primos and leaves him to die. I can see Kaya doing that. Day number six, chat. Ether and Chong Yun run as Klee and Hu Tao attempt to hunt them down. Venti, Alhaitham, Kave, and Toba get trapped in Bottle Land and spend all day trying to find a way out. Zhao bullies a Fatui agent into giving him their supplies. Nahida finds a rare holographic TCG card of Signora, who's a bitch for killing the loot, by the way. Lumine tells Kaya a joke, but Kaya doesn't get it. Shenha skips child's dialogue. Ayaka sacrifices herself to ensure the others can escape the chasm. No, it should have been Mona. Fuck. Daya drowns trying to get. Hydroculus fucking hell. 
Deluc, Eula, Singsho, Ayaka, and Dea all dead. Team 7 and Team 8 are obviously still out. Team 11 is also out. They have been removed from the game. We're moving on to the next one, which I think we're about halfway in, right? It should be the special event. No, night 6. Alhaitham gives Hu Tao some Dango Milk. Ganyu and Kave are forced into a game of Genius Invocation TCG where the loser must die. Ganyu throws the game to spare Kave. Oh! <gasps> Can you sacrifice herself? Poor Gan, you dude. Mona questions her sanity. I've been doing that for the past three nights, Mona. Are you good? Nahida is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. Yeah, she probably blessed herself with them. Lumi thinks Shenhe is a bozo, but still lets Shenhe take Shen shelter with her. Shenhe is not a bozo. You're a fucking bozo. Kaya starts a fire. Oh no. Kokobi is awoken by nightmares. Venti and Ether laugh at the cute apron child wears when he's trying to cook. <laughs> Chung Yu fights Toba for his artifacts. Chung Yu wins but spares Toba's life. There's a lot of sparing going on with these artifact duels. Beto is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. <gasps> Zhao steps clear the back with the Fuck off, Zhao. Senora steals Kazu's primo gems. Fucking short motherfucker. He went after Klee because he's the only one he can fucking reach. Kazuha, Ita, and Nahida fight geometry together, and Kaya is about to kill Al Haitham. But Kave uses his powers to save Alhaitham and escape. Okay, well, Kaya didn't die. Kaya, stay the fuck alive. I'm pissed. I want Kaya to win now, just in a revenge arc for Klee, dude. Kokomi and Lumine team up to defeat Zhao. Good fucking shit. Good fucking shit, Lumine and Kokomi. Fucking based. Get fucked, Zhao. All they'd have to do is use Kokomi's E. The jellyfish had produced enough water to fucking drown him, dude. Three inches of water is more than enough, I'm telling you. More than enough. Go get fucked. Mona gets injured by a forest boar and retaliates by using her burst. Okay, that forest boar's fucking dead. Senora convinces Shenhe to buy overpriced supplies for Dory. Oh no. Child keeps wearing Toba's limited edition Weasel House slippers. What the fuck is Weasel House? What is that? I've never heard that. Venny buys pond water from Dory thinking it's holy water. Or from Diagnosis. Oh, good one. That's a good one. Hu Tao, Chong Yun, and Beidou form an alliance which Beidou betrays, almost immediately killing both Hu Tao and Chong Yun. Oh my god, Beidou. What the fuck? Killing the exorcist and the funeral girl? Oh shit, this is a new one. Wait. Can Rian technology invades Teyvat? Alhaitham survives. Child survives. Senora is smacked to death by a group of spinning ruin guards. Oh god, she got the Liwa Island treatment. Nahida takes control of a ruin drake and kills Beto and Mona with it. <laughs> good shit, Nahida, good shit. Ether survives. Kaya pushes Venti out of the way of a ruin golem's attack and is killed instead. Kaya, stop being so selfless for fuck's sake. Also, Venti, you little shit, you got the power of wind, you could have fucking blown yourself up, up away from the fucking ruined golem, you fucking dumbass. Koba survives, Kokomi survives, Kazuwa is spat to death by a group of spinning ruined gods, Shenha is killed by a ruined hunter, Lumin is killed by a ruined hunter, and Kave survives. Bro, how many people just died? Twelve people! Ganyu, Klee, Xiao, Hu Tao, Chong Yun, Sinyo... They updated the Senora fit. That's fucking funny. Vado, Mona, Kaya, Kazu, Shenha, Lupin. <laughs> Dude, this person is incredible at creating these, dude. I swear to God, that's so fucking funny. We gotta see who's left. Ether in team one. Team two, team three, team four, team five are all gone. Venti is all that's left in team six with one kill. Team seven and eight are gone. Team nine has Toba and Kokomi alive with two kills. Team 10 has Alhaitham, Kaveh, and Nahida. And only Tartak from team 12. God damn, dude. Night number seven. Kokomi spends all night fishing for the catch while Venti is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. Alhaitham laments over the fact that so much laws in event exclusives, and Ether reads Guide to Ingenuity before going to sleep. Nahida, Kave, Toma, and Child work together to challenge the abyss. Yo, the burning comp, dude? Day 8. Toma helps Nahida get through the day. Ether hurls a sharp, hillishall arrowhead straight at Venti's head, but Venti is shielded by Child, who dies instead. Bro, why is everybody protecting Venti? Kokomi wastes all her resin farming for the perfect artifact. She is un unsuccessful, but gives a decent artifact to Kave. Alhaitham collects materials to forge a weapon. Child died. Night number 8. Venti he spends all night tracking down Ether and kills him. <laughs> Ether threw a really sharp arrowhead at Venti's head, but then Child took the force of it. And Venti saw that and thought, nah, bitch, I'm getting my fucking revenge, and just goes and kills Ether. Pretty based, honestly, pretty based. Nahida receives a delivery from Kirara. It's a letter from Kave. It's a list of everything he hates about her. <laughs> the plot twist here is, it's just a blank letter. Toba and Kokomi stay up all night arguing, and Alhaitham can't get any sleep. Day number nine, Kokomi gets scammed out of her primos by Dory. Nahida distracts Kave while Toba steals his primos. Why are you all farming primos at this point, dude? You should be 
hiding and shit. I'll hide them stabs Venti in the abdomen with the catch killing him. Bro, poor fucking Venti. He can't get a damn break, dude. Oh, yeah. Ether and Venti died. Now I had to throw Kokomi into a pit of Hydro and Cryo Abyss Mages, killing her. <laughs> hey, it's looking like Toma might be next, dude. It, it's looking like Nahida's gonna win this for the gang. Alhaitha reads a guide to ingenuity. Kave reads a guide to ingenuity. Toma huddles near a warm and salient dragon spine. <gasps> wait, this is... Wait, this is getting close, dude. Toma and Alhaitha get lost in the Mejavari. Oma Toma, Toma makes it back alive. It's one versus two now. Nahida and Kave find a treasure map and spend all day headed east until they realize they've been going west the whole time. Kokomi and Alhaitha both dead, so now it's literally just Toma and Kave and Nahida left. Kave dreams of being with friends and family while Nahida stabs Toma in the back with a catch. <laughs> oh, Nahida, you unhinged fucking maniac, dude. God damn. Wait. Oh, shit. That's not even the winner. The winner was that team, but Nahida overpowers and kills Kave in a fight with her powers. Nahida won. Let's go. I forgot there was an actual winner and it wasn't just team based. <laughs> With only one left standing on a nearly starless night, Celestia's new Orchid is revealed to be Nahida from Team 10. She got five goddamn kills too, dude.